fat and docile, big and dumb. They look so stupid, they aren't much fun. Cows aren't fun. When farmers see animals like these, they think of kilos of beef or milk kilos. But for one Watford woman, these are creatures of beauty and wonder. Cows well done. Ardmore-based artist Bridget Shelley has been painting cows for a number of years and is becoming known as the cow painter. Her love of all things bovine started at an early age. I came from an Irish family and uh, I grew up in Coventry in the Midlands of England. Grey city, um, rained a lot. And came over on our holidays to my mother's home place, which is a farm um, full of light and air in Cork and uh, loved coming over all the time. My love of cows started with those days on the farm with my uncle and herding them in for milking in the evening and in the morning, going to the creamery and all the things that, that I did as a child. And um, then when my, ch my own children were very small, I was looking for something to paint. So looking out the window, I saw the cows and I started painting them because I loved them anyway. And people seemed to like them and they made people smile. And I said, well, to get a reaction like that, uh, I'll keep painting them and that was about 10 years ago and I'm still painting them. So tell us about some of these uh, particular specimens, where do they hail from? Um, well these two are Joe Powers cows, a um, local farmer. Yeah. And There's a nice I, wonky horn on one of them. That's exactly it, yeah. That's probably what appealed to you and the farmer's going, what are you doing with that one? <laughs> it was one of the things that attracted me. Um, so I just went in and I crouched down and um, that's why you've got sky just in the background there. Yeah. Um, I'm also looking for the shadows uh, on the faces. There's a nice blue shadow there. Um, whatever I'm painting, I'm always looking at the light uh, yeah. as it hits the subject. And it's amazing when you go up close, like the colours that you see that you bring out in, in the animal that you'd never think blues in a cow That's and right. reds yes. and yellows. Pictures and paintings. You're bringing a bit of funk into the into the cow as well. Pretty funky colours. Yeah, it's it's they're quirky, you know. I and I, I just think that each cow has its own expression, its own. Um, they're very unique. Each of them is very unique. I just like to express that. Very often, I'm looking for. I say the good-looking cows, but. Um, you know, to have bright eyes, to have um, nice hairstyle curls in the face. Um, if the light is good, it's great to have some shadows across the face as well. A curious look, a curious look. Head up is the best. I love Frisian cows, but sometimes um, the blackness on the faces doesn't make a good painting. Um, but the ones, the Herefords now with their curly faces and especially if the light is on it, they make great paintings. Of course, the farmers aren't going to be looking at the colours, they're going to be looking at the tags and seeing if the, the barcodes are right on them exactly, or whatever. Exactly, that's it. Yeah, they're, a bit, they're amused by the fact that I include the tags, but I, you know, it makes them the real cows. They're all individual cows, they're all tagged, you know, they're, they're all legal. Bridget obviously has a fascination for all things bovine, but I'm interested to know if local farmers share her appreciation for cows as art. When you start waxing lyrical about cows, I mean, do farmers think, God, is this woman away with the fairies? The farmers do, yeah, a lot of the time. I think that they think I've got a bit of mad cow disease. They're very bemused by, by my love of cows in this way, because I look for the nice hairstyles as well. You know, it's, um, it's just something quirky, I suppose, that, that I have too. The good looking cows, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try and lure them forward to, uh, for me to take pictures and to paint them. But over the years, Bridget has convinced local farmers to look at their cattle with fresh eyes, including beef farmer Sam Roach Perks. Were you surprised that somebody would devote so much time and energy to painting cows? I mean, most farmers look at their cows and they say, yeah, you know, if I can turn them into a profit, grand, but uh, hang them on my walls and paint them and get artistic about them. Is the surprise that somebody's making money out of cattle or is the surprise that somebody's making it out of painting them? Um, I was, yeah, yeah, to be honest. Um, and I, in times like we're going through at the moment, I think the great thing about Bridget's paintings is they're so bright and alive and positive, you know? That's what I like about it. And now you've commissioned her to do uh, another painting for you. I have, and this is the calf in the background there. That's Jemima. And Jemima's a story 
She was born premature um, and she was a twin and her half-brother didn't make it and her mother didn't make it. So the children looked after her Dara when she was young and to be honest, I nearly gave up on her too. So, you're so she's a pet. So that was the deal. They look after her. You're I'd ask Bridget to do a Immortalise her. Immortalise, on the wall forever. Does um, Jemima live up to, to your usual high standards? Oh, definitely. Uh, she's an ideal candidate now. She's got lovely furry face and uh, being a white white cow as well, or calf. She's Charlie. Uh, Charlie, sorry. Yeah, you see, <laughs> farmers are still testing on your, on your uh, technical knowledge. I wonder, is this the start of a trend? Will farmers all over the country start snapping up uh, oil paintings of, of bovines, do you think? Uh, and, and looking for royalty commissions or something like that <laughs> along the way. As a nation with strong ties to the land, perhaps it's surprising that cows aren't featured more widely in Irish art. The Irish affinity with cows and the, the rural landscape um, it's something that's in, the, in our, all of our backgrounds. For years, you know, the horse has been painted going off to battle and the hunt and the cow has looked on and got no look in anywhere. So it's about time someone paid homage to the cow.